the biggest thing really was, was probably our promotion to what is now the championship under Harry Redknapp back in 87. But unfortunately, we only stayed there for three years. And uh, as a result of our time at that higher level, we overextended ourselves. Last night, Belvers brought us the breaking news in sport that AFC Bournemouth had lost their fight to avoid going into administration. I could have walked away from this football club when I met Gerald um, earlier in the week and said enough's enough. That's not my style. That kind of financial meltdown, they penalised us a further 17 points. Um, and in addition to that, we had an 18-month transfer embargo, so we couldn't even bring any players in. The Football League's youngest manager. At 31, Bournemouth boss Eddie Howe is younger than a couple of his players. I didn't want to be the guy that, that took the club um, into insolvency, so... I felt an incredible responsibility and pressure on me, but went off with the job and being told that, you know, we think you're the guy that can, can do it for us, I, uh, I couldn't turn away from the challenge, so I had to take it. Looking back, my approach was to try and create a siege mentality. It was a catalogue of things that I just tried to use, really, to motivate the players. And also looking at the long-term effects, that if they can be the guys that save the club, they, they will be remembered. And he pleaded with me every day for about 20 days until I just said, yeah, I will come back. I know I can easily say that now, but at the time, and I've never felt that in any game. Of the 800 plus games I've played as a player, I've never felt it, and I just felt I was going to score. I was going to get the winning goal that kept us in the Football League. That was one of the most emotional games I've ever been involved in. The crowd's reaction after the game, those moments were living me for a long time. He was happy to invest relatively huge sums in order to try to, first of all, stabilise and take us to a level that nobody, you know, in Bournemouth or world football would ever imagine we could get to. We had a couple of heavy defeats in our first few games in the Championship and everyone was saying we're going to have to play a different style of football and Bournemouth won't survive at this level. And you know, I think we just went back to working hard, working harder, trying to improve. But we didn't implode, we just kept going from strength to strength. Jones trying to get free, he's there! Oh, what an impact from Kenwin Jones on his Bournemouth debut! He has scored a priceless equaliser! Everybody doubted whether our existing squad from Division 1 uh, would be capable. The night we played Bolton and secured promotion here, there were eight of our starting lineup were our first division players. Now that tells you about the mentality of the players and the ability of our incredible manager to bring out the very best in those players. You're about to put your tactical acumen up against the likes of Louis van Gaal, Jose Mourinho, Arsene Wenger. As a manager, does that fill you with excitement, trepidation, fear? I think it's got to be excitement. It's got to be a positive challenge for us. We can't look at this in a, in a fearful or anxious way. The only way we're going to be competitive and excel is to take the challenge head on. Uh, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the very best in the world will be an unbelievable experience for us. But we want to be competitive. Bournemouth, for the first time ever, are heading to the top flight of English football. This is what being a football fan is all about. How have you changed along the way? I'd like to think I've become a better manager. I'd like to think that I've developed skills and my coaching technique and coaching style I'd like to think has been learnt along the way really. When I took the job I had no, no idea what that was but sort of had to find it through, through doing the role. He won't let you rest on your laurels after a good game or a bad game. His mentality is the same. 
you know, Monday morning it's back to work and improving what he feels you need to improve at. And it's been relentless really over the last five years um, in, in, you know, what he feels he can do to get the best out of someone. And without doubt, it's definitely worked for me.